There are more ways to convert your 87 and 93 Fox Mustang to five lug than you can count on one hand. One of the many ways is this Fox style five lug conversion kit from LateModelRestoration.com. It uses Fox style five lug front rotors, Fox length rear axles with five lug drums that are compatible with your stock rear drum brake setup. It also includes the needed axle studs, front wheel bearings, grease seals, gear oil, just about everything you need to throw it on your car. We're gonna show you step-by-step step what's required to install this on your 87 or 93 Mustang. To start out with the five lug conversion, support your car in the air and remove all the wheels. We'll begin with the front by removing the caliper. Pop off the dust cap, remove the cotter pin, nut retainer, nut, spacer washer, and outer wheel bearing. You can then slide your old rotor off the spindle. Go ahead and clean up all the old grease off the spindle, as well as off the nut spacer washer out of the grease cap and nut retainer. Grab your new rotor, wipe down the bearing races with brake clean, pack the area in between the bearing races with grease, and smear some grease on the bearing races. Pack your wheel bearings with your choice of wheel bearing grease. We decided to use Royal Purple. Install your inside wheel bearing, followed by the new grease seal. Smear some grease on the spindle, slide the rotor into place, slide in your outer wheel bearing, followed by the spacer washer, and nut. Tighten and loosen the retaining nut several times while rotating the rotor to fully seat the bearings. Once you feel the bearings are fully seated, tighten the nut and loosen it by one flat. Rotate the nut retainer around until you can clearly see the cotter pin hole. Install your cotter pin, pack some new grease inside the bearing dust cap, and install the cap into the rotor. Slide your caliper back into place and bolt it down. Repeat this for the other side. Moving on to the rear, remove the 10 cover bolts. You want to grab you an oil drain pan and remove the rear cover. Slide your drums off, rotate your axle around to where you can access the cross pin retaining bolt. Remove the cross pin retaining bolt. Remove the cross pin, slide one axle inward and remove the C-clip. Do this for the other side. Remove both rear axles. Grab your new axles and the included 10 wheel studs. There are several different ways to install these wheel studs. The tried and true method is hammer them into place. When using these stock wheel studs, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. If you're using aftermarket style ARP long wheel studs, you will need to enlarge the holes on the axle flange and use a hydraulic press. Slide your new axles into the housing, being careful not to nick the outer oil seal. Slide one axle all the way inward Engage the C-clip and push it back out till it locks in place. Do this for the other axle. Reinstall your cross pin and the cross pin retaining bolt. Thoroughly clean the face of the axle housing along with the differential cover. We always recommend using one of our reusable differential gaskets. That way you don't have any RTV silicone mess. Reinstall the rear differential cover, tightening down all 10 bolts. Remove the fill plug from the front of the axle housing. Start filling the housing with oil. On the second bottle, I normally put in about half the bottle, then add the bottle of friction modifier to the remaining half bottle of oil and finish filling the axle. Apply some thread sealer to the fill plug and reinstall the fill plug. Slide your new drums into place, install your new wheels, lower the car to the ground. Of course, the perfect finishing touch to any five lug conversion kit is a new set of five lug wheels. We chose to go with a set of our chrome SVE drag wheels. Man, they look mean. Check out latemodelrestoration.com to pick up your five lug conversion kit as well as see the full list of wheel fitments for this particular kit.